Brad Linder with Lilith Uting, and this is the Dell Latitude 5491 and 5591 business class laptops, 14 and 15 inch models with Intel's Coffee Lake H processors up to a six core processor option. These are very similar in terms of design to the versions that we saw earlier this year and last year with uh, Cavi Lake and Cavi Lake Refresh processors. The difference is that these have 45 watt hour processors and ship standard with NVIDIA graphics. So what we're looking at here is the 14 inch model, the 5491, and it's available with a number of different options. We've got option for a fingerprint sensor here, option for a Windows Hello compatible camera, optional touchscreen display, and uh, ship standard with this screen that folds back to 180 degrees. It comes standard with a 65 watt uh, our uh, battery, but it's available with up to a 92 watt hour battery, and it is a user service, or not user, but a, a sort of business serviceable battery. Uh, one thing that's interesting is I've been told that you don't need to have any bump extending from the case. Battery fits inside, whether you get the larger or the smaller version, you just get a couple of hours of extra battery life. It's something where you can sort of remove the screws and replace the battery. It's not something that's meant to be done by, uh, by end users, but it's something that uh, corporations or businesses that are buying a bunch of these laptops can replace the batteries uh, to get longer uh, runtime, basically hold on to the laptops for longer or upgrade to a uh, higher capacity battery if they needed to. Uh, as a business class machine, it also has some ports that you don't always find anymore, including this uh, VGA port here on the side. We've also got USB headset, Kensington lock, uh, another USB port, full-size SD, smart card reader, and a um, USB Type-C port. And if we take a look all the way down on the back here, we've got full-size Ethernet, uh, this is uh, ventilation, that's the fan. Full-size HDMI, another USB port, power, and this guy that's covered up is for a SIM card. It's available with optional 4G LTE for sort of always connected capabilities. Uh, again, if you look at the bottom here, you can see a large amount of venting. That's mostly for the intake, and then it goes out through the back. And again, the battery can be serviced. Uh, it's not quite as simple as sort of some old school uh, drag and drop ones. But for a 14 inch, relatively thin, relatively light laptop, you get an awful lot of ports here on this machine. It also has a full size QWERTY uh, keyboard with sort of this pointing stick there in the center as well as the uh, touch screen and uh, touch pad down here on the bottom. Not a lot of companies that are still sort of offering these pointing sticks. It's sort of pretty much Lenovo and Dell, I think, are, are the main ones that do it. But it is an option for people who prefer this and it means you can sort of adjust the pointer, click the buttons without moving your hand away from the keyboard. So that's the 14 inch model. The 15 inch version is substantially larger, uh, has a larger uh, fingerprint reader for some unknowable reason, <laughs> but it also has a uh, full room for a full numeric keypad as well as all the other features. The port arrangement is pretty much the same. The model we're looking at doesn't have the Windows Hello camera, but it is available as an option. And uh, something else that I think I forgot to mention is in addition to having the uh, Coffee Lake H series processors, both of these ships standard with NVIDIA graphics uh, and PCIe NVMe solid state storage. So prices start at about $899 for the 14 inch model and at $9.99 for the 15-inch uh, model. Those prices are for versions with Core i3 quad-core 45-watt processors, but, it, uh, but they're also available with up to Core i5 and Core i7 six-core or hexa-core processors. So that's a quick look at the latest uh, Dell Latitude 5000 series laptops, the 5491 and 5591. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing. Yeah.